So, I'm guessing you must have seen or heard of um, the <laughs> university trending to have uh, students who are caught cheating in exams. And it has really made me realize that cheating has uh, has gone to an extent that uh, <laughs> it has gone a top notch higher because they had Bluetooth, they had phones trapped on their arms. I don't know how they, they do these things. I mean, our time cheating... <laughs> Students would cheat. I mean, it's always there, but the kind of cheating that is there nowadays. Okay, let alone the cheating part. The students who are caught uh, <laughs> are medical students. So I'm imagining you have students right now who are studying to be, you know, doctors. You're going to deal with the person's life. Somebody's life depends on you, but you're cheating your way to pass the exams. How are you going to deal with the human body? Because if you make a mistake with a human, the results could be fatal. So <laughs> it has really made me think a lot. Why would somebody decide to do a course as expensive as medicine? Because medicine is not something that is to be joked with. You're dealing with somebody's life. Somebody depends on you and you make a little mistake and the person is dead. So why would someone actually do a course that you're obviously not prepared for? Or... If you're cheating your way to pass such an exam, are you really doing the course because you love it? It has made me question whether students do the exams or decide to take courses because they want to or they're being forced to. And this actually still goes back to the parents. So parents should, some, actually the some who do them, maybe because they were forced by the parents to do them and they didn't want to. So as parents, you really have to know what your student wants. But as a student yourself, you can't just take such a course and decide you're going to cheat your way through. Why can't you identify your purpose? Why can't you just do something because you really want to do it? Because I believe courses like being a doctor is just a calling. You can't go there and start messing people's lives up. What are your thoughts on this?